welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new my name is Darcy and today's video is gonna be a Valentine's inspired makeup tutorial hair tutorial and also like a few outfit ideas for people who are staying home or going out so this year I am staying home but I just wanted to show you guys what I will be wearing my hair and the makeup look that I just created so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching Okay you guys, so we're gonna start off with this new moisturizer that I picked up. It has SPF 30, which I need SPF in my life. So I decided to try this CeraVe, I think that's how you say it. It's the Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion and I've been loving this. It's really hydrating. It's a perfect start for like using SPF. I don't believe it leaves like flashback in your pictures or anything. So I've been really loving this to moisturize my face and also give SPF to my skin. So we're gonna apply that. So the next thing I go in is with this primer, it's the No Pore Blum Prime Essence and I believe the brand is called Touch and Soul. It just looks like this. This stuff is really good. I also go in with this hydrating primer from Hard Candy. It's super good. It just reminds me of the milk. I think it's a little bit better. I'm not gonna, you know, knock down milk because I do like the milk one as well. But this one is super affordable. It's really cheap and I've just been gravitating towards this one so we're gonna just, just apply this all over as well okay so for today's eye look I'm gonna be using some tape and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners just so I can be a little bit more sharp and yeah I'm just gonna do that right now I put it on my hand first because I know it's super harsh for the eyes so I'm just gonna start off with the Nikki tutorials palette and I'm gonna go in with this shade Zomer and that's what it's called we're gonna apply that all over the crease I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but New York is having like a big snowstorm and it is just crazy outside, you guys. I'm like so shocked because, you know, they always exaggerate. And this time, I don't think they said much. So now that it's crazy, it's like, whoa. Okay, so with the Take Me to Brazil palette, I'm going to be going in. I'm going to be going in with the third pink shade going down. Just this one right here. I'm also going in with this top bright pink shade right here and I'm just gonna be doing the same thing I've been doing just blending it out so I've been really wanting to get into a new camera I want like better quality I feel like this is good for vlogging but I don't know for some reason my pictures and some of my vlogs do not come out as good as they did before I'm not sure like did I drop my camera I'm not sure what happened but I just want to like invest into a better filming camera for like my fashion and my beauty vlogs beauty videos but they are super expensive so I'm not quite sure when that would happen but I really want to look into that and also getting some soft box lighting just to like make the lighting a little bit better because I do not have like my own beauty room so I want to make it as good as possible and I want to have like a background something like with silk white curtains or something but just leave me some ideas because I really don't know I know I like pompous grass. My cousin actually has like the pink ones and they're so pretty. Probably would do like a nude pompous grass, like the regular pompous, and maybe like white sheets for sure because you can never go wrong with white. So I'm still thinking about like what to do because I know we might be moving soon. So I don't really want to do overboard if we are going to move. So yeah, I've just been trying to think and plan out. I've also been away from YouTube, which is so bad. I've just been like in a drought. Is that a good word? Just been in like, I don't know, like a depressing stage of my life. I know everyone goes through it, so. No, I'm not alone, but it's just been really hard to like get myself motivated and to film. Even though I love doing these videos, these videos are like my peace and it gives me like some motivation to do better and to do what I love so filming has always been like that for me but it's just I didn't want to come on camera and be totally like the energy not there because I'm all about energy and if it ain't there I don't want to bring it on to someone else so yeah I've been gone I know I want to be more consistent so this is me attempting to be more consistent but yeah Okay, so I do want to cut my crease, so I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to cut my crease. Okay, so now with this Ace Butte, it's just like a pretty rose gold color with 
like orange gold tones and it just looks like this and then I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe brush and apply that to the cut crease okay so now with the other brush that we use for our crease we're just gonna blend out the harsh line between both shadows it's Valentine's Day like I said we're staying home so I am gonna be dramatic with the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna have fun with it this year since you know there's nowhere to go so we might as well just venture out and have fun with it so okay so i know i look crazy right now but trust the process and i'm gonna go in with the wet and wild mega liner the only thing i can say about this is i love how black it is but the applicator itself is just wonky it doesn't really apply as sharp as i love to apply my liner because the applicator is just really weird i don't know if you guys can see it from the camera but it's not like a brush it's just like i don't know how to explain it it's like a sponge kind of so we're gonna try to use like a different brush okay so finally moving on to the face i've been loving you guys the next born to glow it is my absolute favorite foundation at the moment it's been my favorite for like a couple of months now and i'm in the shade natural and it is so beautiful i think i should go off a shade but right now i've just been loving this shade and it was on sale actually in target for like 4.99 so definitely give it a check out in your local target but we're just gonna apply this all over my face And I also picked up this new sponge from Wet n Wild and I heard good things about it so I'm gonna try it out today for the first time hopefully I like it because you know I really love the elf one so this is just the beauty sponge I guess from Wet n Wild so far I'm really liking how it's applying my foundation and it's not soaking up too much of the product but it can be because I wet this like an hour ago so probably why but this is really good this is like a 10 out of 10 in my book i really love how it applied my foundation and i bought this in target i believe for like four to five bucks no more than that because it is wet and wild which is super affordable so i definitely recommend you guys try this out it's really really good okay so now for concealer i do go in with these two almost every time i do my makeup it's the tarte double duty beauty in the shade light neutral and then the elf camel concealer the hydrating one which is in the shade light beige and i'm just gonna put the light beige on first and then go on top with the tart one okay and now with my ride or die my fit me foundation stick i believe it is it's in the shade coconut i love this thing it's just like a pretty bronzy color it's not like too intense and I do look like a ghost right now, which I apologize. This is not how I really look. Like, in my mirror right now, it looks okay. But in this camera, I look like a ghost. Catfish, one-on-one. Alright, so I'm just going to apply that everywhere I usually contour. And I always blend out my contour with a beauty blender. But since this is new, hopefully it works out just as good. Let's see. So far, so good, you guys. I'm really, really liking this sponge. Okay, now with my favorite drugstore powder, it's gonna be the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Fairlight. This thing is amazing. If you guys want an affordable setting powder, I definitely recommend this one. It's my favorite. And I don't like to bake, I'm just gonna set it. I find when I set it, it doesn't crease as much, so this is what I like to do. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is the matte bronzer from Essence. This stuff is my favorite. I know I have this in every makeup video, but it is amazing, you guys. And for $3, it's so good. It's in the shade Too Sunny, so I'm just going to put that everywhere we cream contour.
So another favorite I've been loving recently is this NYX Rose and Play blush and it's so pretty. It's just a matte blush color and it looks just like this. And honestly you guys, this is my favorite blush at the moment. I've been using this for about a month as well and it's super good. I like to put it on my forehead too. I don't know, I just feel like it intensifies the bronzer a lot, so that's what I do. Okay, now on for setting spray, I'm just going to use the Urban Decay and it's called the Oil Control Setting Spray. I'm not sure, but it just looks like this. I'm just going to set my face. And then I'm going to also take my Laura Geller in Gilded Honey and highlight my face. Ooh. For a while I didn't really use highlight, but now I'm getting back into using it and I don't know what I was thinking, not using it because I love it. Alright, so now I'm going to apply a thin layer of the e.l.f. Lash It Loud. This is really amazing for the price as well. I really love this mascara. If you guys haven't tried it, I definitely recommend picking this up as well. I know I'm telling, telling you guys to pick up a lot of stuff, but these things are really affordable. And this one, I had low expectations because I never used e.l.f. mascaras, but this is bomb, guys. Bomb. Okay, so now for the lip, I'm kind of like in a toss-up between this Red Melted Matte by Too Faced in the shade Lady Ball or like my natural nude color. I know nude would be really pretty with this, but I know it's Valentine's Day look and everyone always has to have that pop of red, so I'm going to try on the red. Hopefully it'll stain and then we'll see which one I ended up going with. Absolutely not. We're not going on our first. What the hell was I thinking? Okay, so I'm going to go in with the stripped down MAC lip liner and I'm going to just line my lips. Then going in with MAC Honey Love, we're going to put that in the center. This is such a bump combo you guys if you haven't tried it definitely try it so now I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip, liquid lipstick in the shade pure Hollywood and I'm just gonna put that in the center just to make it a little bit more nude dab it out I'm gonna do a lot of editing because I know that this video is like an hour already but we're pretty much done. I do want to show you guys two outfit ideas. One for staying home and just, you know, relaxing with your boo at home. And one for like a little bit more dressy. I'm not really one who wears dresses a lot because, you know, I just don't. And I'm just going to show you those two outfits. And I'm also going to show you how I got my hair. Like this curly crimped look. Which I'll show you guys the curl device thing that I did use. So just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I know I did that a little bit fast, but if you guys do want an in-depth tutorial on this hair, then let me know in the comments and I'll gladly show you guys because it's super easy, super cheap, and all you need is like nothing. Basically, you just need that iron and it's so good. It's like good for when you have like 40 old hair, which I do. And I just go in with the Eva NYC, Eva, Eva. And I just spray whatever looks, you know, a little greasy. I know it's nasty, but it's good for blonde hair because we need to not, you don't need to wash it as much because you need it to be strong. So this is what I do when I tend to have like a little bit more of a greasier hair day. And I love it. It just looks like so voluminous. And my curls do not come out like this, which is so sad because I damaged my hair. But this is how I get the curls to looking like, you know, like this. I'm going to show you guys two outfits and... Just like a little inspo of what I would wear, but let's get on to the outfit.
Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And also, leave me any video suggestions down below as well. I hope you guys enjoyed and you got some inspiration for this Valentine's Day look. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!